Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make lead acid battery at home. For this project, don't need anything. You just only need an old dyed lead acid battery. On some videos on YouTube, some people say you can reuse these old dyed lead acid battery. According to them, when you add some um, sulfuric acid solution from he here to the um, battery, you can use this battery again, but it is impossible. If lead acid batteries died once, you can't use this battery again. When you uh, when you add some uh, sulfuric acid solution to this battery, it seems that it is uh, <laughs> reusable. It can provide some uh, electricity, but normally it is impossible to use this uh, lead acid battery again. Don't believe those videos. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a new lead acid battery from this old dyed lead acid battery. So let's start, I will tell you step by step. Okay, my friends, if you are working with lead acid battery, I recommend you to use uh, wear your hand gloves because lead is a very toxic, very poisoning material and it can damage your health. So please, uh, when you work with these materials, please uh, wear and use your hand gloves. Now, if you cut this lead acid battery, old lead acid battery with this little soap, you will get some parts. Let me show you those parts. Uh, as you see, we have here uh, positive electrodes. In the battery, the positive electrodes uh, will be almost damaged, broken, damaged. So you can't use these positive electrodes. But the negative electrodes, this is also a positive electrode, but negative electrodes are uh, almost uh, very nice form in very nice condition. So you can use the negative electrodes again. So in this video, we are going to use negative electrodes to make our battery. So here is the question. For a lead acid battery, you need a positive electrode and negative electrode. So just only using negative electrodes, how that could be possible to make a lead acid battery? Just wait, I will tell you how. Okay, my friends, I got four pieces of negative electrodes. I'm going to use two of them as a negative for the battery and two of them as the positive electrode for the battery. As you see, there are still some um, separator insulator on the electrode. It's not very important. You don't have to clean this separator. It will work. It doesn't matter. It can still on the electrode. Now, I am going to use separator and put them together as a battery, okay? Okay, my friends, for the separator, I'm going to use paper towel. I'm just um, take one piece and fold into four piece. And I am going to cut according to the size of the electrode. I'm just going to cut. Okay, the size of the separator should be a little bit larger than the electrodes. Okay. As you see, this will be fine. This will be enough. Now I will make five of them. I will make uh, four uh, more separators, just like this with the same size with this. Okay, my friends, I need to make a correction. I need six piece of uh, separator for our battery. So I made six pieces of separator for my battery. Now I am going to, I am going to just scrape this part of the electrodes, just this parts of the electrode for make a good connection. And when I solder the cable connections cable to the, to here, um, it will be easy for me to make soldering and connection. So I need to scrape this part and remove the oxidation part on the lead. Okay, after clean the connections here, now it's time to use the separator and uh, combine my battery. I've got the first separator. Just put the first um, electrode. This, I'm going to use this part as the negative. Okay, as the negative. Now, 
put the second separator just on it and at this time I am going to put the positive one just like this be careful one of the uh, connections should be here and the other one should be here not overlap with each other the negatives and the positives okay now put the third separator and again put the second negative electrode over here i'm going to use this one this is the second negative electrode okay and use another separator be careful the electrodes shouldn't touch each other my friends and put the um, second positive electrode okay just like this and that's very nice now put another separator over here okay and now i am going to just um okay i am just going to okay i'm just going to use a tape to uh, make them all together and just tightly okay that's very nice okay put this separator over here and put the last separator over here and again tape all of them now i will just take off my gloves i don't need it anymore I'm going to use this tape Again, I'm going to tape very tightly, just like this. Okay, my friends, our battery almost ready. Now I'm going to use this small plastic container and put my electrodes inside it. Okay, see my friends, it's a very small plastic container and put my electrodes inside it. Okay, my friends, now it's time to make connections for my battery. Okay, my friends, for making connections, I am going to use this uh, lead piece and I will just cut into two pieces. And I will just soldering just like this. Okay, my friends, I am just going to soldering just like this. One piece here and the other piece over here. I will just soldering these two pieces for my uh, battery connection. Okay, my friends, I just uh, connect the lead pieces to my battery as the connections. Now it's uh, I'm going to put my battery inside the container just fit inside it okay just like this now we can move on the next step our battery almost ready to use now we are going to add some sulfuric acid electrolyte on our battery and after that i'm going to show you the most critical part of making this battery now let's continue my friends 
Okay, to prepare our uh, electrolyte, I am going to use deionized water and sulfuric acid. 70% uh, of um, deionized water and just 30% of sulfuric acid will be enough for our battery. Now, the ratio is not very important. <coughs> now, add a little bit sulfuric acid. Just a little bit more. And that's enough. Okay. Some more water. Okay, just stir the solution. Stir the electrolyte. Now I am going to fill my battery with the sulfuric acid water solution with the help of my injection. Okay, fill it very carefully. Okay, my friends, we completely fill our battery. Now it's ready to use charge and after that use our battery. But it's time to answer the most critical question. While we are making our battery, we just used negative electrodes. But for lead acid battery, we need positive electrodes and negative electrodes. So how this battery will work and how we will make positive electrodes. This is the answer. When you apply the voltage to the battery, the pure lead on the electrode, the positively charged electrode, will turn into lead dioxide. So positively charged electrode after uh, three or four hours after charging, one of the electrode, the positively elect uh, charging electrode, will uh, turn into uh, as a positive electrode of the battery so you will get a very nice very beautiful lead acid battery now we will charge our battery for about one or two hours uh, with um, six or seven volts and approximately about uh, one amp after two or three hours your battery the one of these electrodes will turn into the um, positive for the lead acid battery and your battery will be ready to use now i will charge and after that i will show you the result okay my friends i've got my charger i will uh, use this one as the negative electrode and this one for the positive electrode after two or three hours the positively charged electrode will turn into lead dioxide and it will work as a positive electrode and your battery will be uh, ready now I'm going to charge with uh, one amp and with six volts during the first charge the bubbles and the hydrogen gas produced in the battery because the oxidation process is continued but when after two or three hours when the oxidation process is completely finished there won't be any bubbles or in hydrogen gas when you charge your battery so it will work as a real new uh, lead acid battery my friends now the charging process is continue after it's fully charged after two or three hours i will show you the results and the capacity and the uh, capabilities of our battery Okay, my friends, after charging three hours, our battery is ready. Now we will test it, see the voltage inside it. 
and see the capacity of our battery. First of all, let's measure the voltage inside it. The negative and the positive. As you see, there is 2.12 volt inside our battery, 2.12, 2.13 volts. In our battery, it's pretty good for a lead acid battery, one cell lead acid battery. Of course, this is a one cell lead acid battery. Now, we will make some tests on our battery. First of all, I will try to run this uh, RC helicopter DC motor. These types of DC motors can consume a lot of energy in a very short time. So. I will try to run this motor with our battery. Can you hear the voice? It can run the DC motor very, very fast. Now let's run my small blender with our battery. Oh, it's pretty nice, pretty fast. Can you see that? Okay, now I am trying to light this bulb. This is um, 12 volt and 25 watts uh, bulb. It's a very strong bulb. I will try to light this one. Okay, as you see, it can light it pretty light. You see, although it is 12 volt, it can light it very well. Now, I have a LED here, three set of LED here. I will try to light this LED with my battery. Uh, this is the um, positive. And here is the negative. Okay, my friends, can you see? It can light it very well. Now I am going to short circuit my battery. This is the most dangerous but most entertaining uh, way and test for my bedrock. Okay. Wow, did you see that? It's melt the Cooper wire. Ouch. It's melted. Now I need to, can you see how it melt? The Cooper wire, I need to remove it. Okay, let's make another short circuit test. At this time, I'm going to use this um, thick Cooper wire. I'm trying to be careful. Wow. You see what's happened again? Wow. Can you see that? Wow, what's happening? Can you see that? Wow. See what's happening to the Cooper wire? Wow, it's pretty, um, wow, it's pretty strong battery. It's very strong battery. Wow, can you see that? What's happened to the Cooper wire? It's very, very strong battery, my friends. Wow. Okay, after all, let's measure the remain voltage inside the battery. As you see, it has still 2.03 volts inside the battery. So our battery is still working after all. You see that our battery is still working. It's a very nice, very good lead acid battery. Okay, my friends, I just covered my battery with a small piece of plastic and sealed it with 
my hot glue and cut the excessive part of the lead connections. Now, as you see, I have a very nice, very beautiful lead acid battery, 2.1 volt lead acid battery. As you see, I just leave a very little, very tiny hole here. The purpose of this, when your electrolyte is diminished, you can add more electrolyte from here. And of course, it is for safety uh, in order to prevent any um, type of any possible explosion from overcharging your battery. So I recommend you to leave uh, a very tiny hole just like this. As you see, we made a very nice, very beautiful lead acid battery, very strong battery, of course. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe my channel and like my video. Take care of yourself, my friends. See you in the next videos.